get going with my piece. I just want to give y'all a brief biography about myself. Because let's keep it real, half of you in this room don't even know who I am. I was born in Oakland. I'm really from Oakland. So, I mean, you're laughing, but you've heard of the statistic, which is a black male will either graduate high school and be on crack, or he will go to jail, or he'll be murdered. Well, I have been a part. I have been a part of all those statistics. I used to gangbang. I grew up in a, a family home where I was born with a mother and uh, two other siblings. My dad has been in prison since I was born, you know? So I have a reason to have done the things that I have done, but thank God that I overcame it, and you can tell me right now that I'm here. I attend East Oakland School of the Arts, where I attend. I just met a teacher from the Osa. Well, I maintain a 4.0 GPA. Yeah. Well. So that's just a little something about myself. And my principal can verify that I am not prevaricating, but I am telling the truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> so here's my little piece on it. It's entitled, How Many of You All Care About Our Students? How many of y'all care about our students? Yeah. Okay, all right. October 19, 2009, 8 a.m. in the morning, 11-year-old Alana Williams was killed on her way to school. Not by a gun, not by a knife, to add, she wasn't overdosed on any drugs either. Needless to say, her death was not an expected death for a young child in Oakland. This 11-year-old girl transported on the bus to school by herself. And as she entered the crosswalk, a black sedan hit her, and according to the Oakland Tribune, the driver didn't stop to see if the girl was okay. Instead, she struck her a second time and drove off even faster. How cruel is that? Can you imagine the agony she was in? Can you feel every moment this little girl experienced as she was pummeled by a car as if she was a matador and the sedan beat the bull? I bet you could. How many of you all who heard about it wanted to do something about it? Yeah. Okay, all right. And how many of you all are just now finding out about this? Okay. What if you woke up in the morning, kissed your baby on the cheek like you have been doing ever since she was born, fished her breakfast as if she was, it was the last meal of her life, did she ask you for a ride and you said no because you had to go to work? But you gave her a dollar and ten cents to catch the bus and as soon as you get, get to work, the principal calls you and says, I'm sorry, but your child is no longer with us. How would you feel if you were that parent? How many of you all care about our students? I do. Well, if somebody cares, why aren't there crossing guards at every single school in the Oakland Unified School District? What? Our, our students are too old for crossing guards? Why isn't there someone to direct the traffic through the intersection during school hours? Oh, right. The money. Well, Wesley, we can't afford crossing guards. Or, our school budget has been cut. Or, money, 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 money. I understand that money is the issue, but I also realize that this state doesn't care about our educational school system. If so, they would stop putting all this money inside of the prisons just because the only thought they have about our students is that we are preparing ourselves to be a customer at your billion, billion dollar brick business because they have no faith in our students. But money shouldn't be an issue for a crossing guard. Yeah, I admit, they were talking about building an extra stoplight where she got hit hit at, and I commend whoever thought of that idea. But the fact of the matter is, Frick is not the only school with a crazy intersection. Yeah. Why does it have, what, what does it take to have a student body crossing guard and pay them extra credit or community service hours? Can somebody get on that project right now? Because it needs to happen this week. Yeah. Who knows when another student will get hit by a car going to school, trying to become something this state doesn't want them to be? <laughs> This state, good old California, where the stars are made, where our precious governor is on his 
Arnold Schwarzenegger? What in the world is going on in the little minds of our state representatives? What type of people are they? Satisfied at being 47 out of 50 in this country's educational system. Let me tell you all about students like me because it's really rough on my behalf. Of course, preschool through eighth grade was pretty easy. We, we all, but we all remember high school, don't we? We all remember our high school years. And don't try to act like you don't. As the jails prepared my bed, I was getting ready for them. Getting ready for the world. I had accumulated a 0 0.63 GPA, then visited my bed for about a month and realized that it was an, an uncomfortable bed. Once I received a mentor, I started getting 4.0s because somebody cared. I came all the way here to ask how many of you all are doing something for a student. No, not your son. No, not your daughter. No, not your niece and your nephew. How many of you all have taken the time out of your, your day to go up to these schools and share with these students which were taught to feel your succeeding methods? Because that's why I'm here right now, because I grew up around failures. But a mentor taught me how to succeed. Yeah, God intervened in my life, which made it a little bit more easy for me, because I am a saint. But I know if I can inspire my partner, Deandre Spears, to get off the block and go to school, now he went from a 0, 0.0 to a 2.8, and, and he's still not satisfied with that. I know if I can do it, you can do it. Wesley, Wesley, back up off the mic a little bit. How many of you all care about our students? When you were younger, did you have your struggles going up? Did y'all? Did y'all have struggles? Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. But were your struggles walking in the house with nothing but water in the refrigerator? Going to school after you watch your friend get slapped? Wearing the same clothes you wore three years ago because mama is on section day. Not caring about school because you know damn well that mama can't even afford to send you the lane. This is the environment I grew up in and it gets way worse than that. When these student goes through the tribulations that they go through, how do you expect them to focus in school? That's why I say be a mentor to a student. Because you, 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 and you can save a child's life and make this state mad for wasting that money on a jail cell. Right. That is where it starts, with people like us. Help me make a difference by caring about our students. How many of you all care about our students like someone cared for you? God bless you all. God bless our students. Woo!